easier when somebody's talking to me then I can talk yes, talking right. to that I can't do yeah, that see that's right but but we are sincere I mean this is not a setup right <laughs> this is like like no. Matt Hamilton it's you know like, like we were we were the only ones who were talking about art right. everybody was talking about money and you yeah, know right. like, and they didn't spend the money on art they just spent the money on something else you know, so now I'm going to be yet, honest so, with you yeah. when I first came in here that's the one that drew my attention Oh, and I even called Cindy in here and showed her. I said, when you look at this on the camera, it looks like it's real. Yeah. It's absolutely, I mean. Unfortunately, it drew it's my attention too. Yes, yeah, we did. And, and Joe actually, actually. Yeah. Jerry, actually, Jerry can eat this week. Actually, yeah, actually, exactly. actually. Thank you very much. Actually, my pleasure. Yeah. Actually, the gentleman, uh, the the gentleman who acquired the painting the awesome. 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 or his lovely wife, it's Brian James. And Brian James is the proprietor of Valhalla here on the mountain. <laughs> and an excellent ski instructor. And I have had the pleasure when I came to the valley to meet Brian 13 yeah. years ago. Yeah. And we had some common friends going yeah. back, way, way back to... Uh, we'll go back too to far. We're not that old yet. <laughs> <laughs> to Ontario. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, so uh, thank you. Uh, my anyway, pleasure. Thank you. It's, it's absolutely, no, it's, absolutely it's, it's gorgeous. Right. Yes. Yeah. And we mentioned to your wife that when we come up, we're going to come and stop in at your store yes. and get some videos there. Wonderful. So Great stuff. Put that out there. That'd be lovely. Right. That'll make me work twice as hard tomorrow morning fixing it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I got inundated with boxes today. So. <laughs> and, 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 the, and the biggest compliment that, that nobody tells you except, except myself <laughs> is that Barry Rafus came in and the first piece he looked at was the Armstrong Hills. All right. And he is said, he coming tonight? He is here. Oh, good. Yes. Good. He is is he in there? Yeah. Oh, good. Yes. I missed him. Yes. Yeah. So, like and he wants to bargain with me. He wants to give me two of his paintings for one of yours. Oh, that's and hilarious. I said, no, he needs to give me three of oh, his paintings. Oh, yeah. that's a hard bargain. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's good to, stuff. Yes. To paint that, did you go out like in an orchard or was it a... <laughs> I did. I did paint outside and the outdoor sketch is really small and it was really quick. Um, I was actually on my way to my sister's house for dinner and this orchard is very near her home and I, I didn't have much time and I mo spent most of my time drawing and I made a few color marks and I did use photos when I'm on the side and I do that a lot to vary. So um, just looking around, all the rest of these are outdoor photos as well. So, or outdoor uh, paintings like that I painted from my own side. side. I, I and like usually I go home and use the small ones and paint larger works from the small paintings. So, so, but yeah, that larger one is mostly from photos in the studio and then from the outdoor studies. Shadows change, you gotta work quick. So that's usually why the outdoor ones are small. I mean, but I don't mind the cold. I just don't like, the change in light is an issue, but I mean, the cold isn't a problem so much. I've only painted once where my paint froze and it was minus 20. A little colder than minus 20 so but that one in the top corner there at Bow Lake it was really cold and I painted the underpainting for that in about 20 minutes and then I go home and I just finish the painting from memory just right on top of the other painting. So. I think it's still photo. Both. I underpainted and yeah photo mm -hmm. mostly but, but I did do outdoor studies for it. I was just telling him the out the outside four are actually all from life. Um very extrovert chap when um, when you have him engaged on the right subject or or with the right per right person. Yeah, so uh, it, it's really good. And and what 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 I what I really like about Jerry when every time he comes to our show he gets a haircut. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I love it. You bugged me about my hair last time, so I went and had a haircut before I came today. <laughs> I didn't bug you. Well, <laughs> oh, have you met? Uh, I did. We did. We I sure didn't did. realize. How you doing? Is Hi. Joe, Joe was. Nice to meet you. And um, Cindy. Hi. Nice to meet you. And, um, and David is an all-around snow merchant. 
He does everything. He is building buildings. He is selling speeds. I work for him as yeah. a laborer. Yeah. And I work for Brian as a laborer. That's right. And I clean Cal's driveway. You should do All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> well, not today. I but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always see you late today. I'm sorry. from here. Like that, and put it on. Numbered? Put it on the label. Okay. Thank you. 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 Something like 290 entries and uh, 70 have been selected for the show or something like that.